Hi guys, this is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am doing my little baby Demetrius's three month update. He is growing so crazy fast. He already weighs 14 pounds, which is insane. Seems like it took Sophia a lot longer. I can definitely tell that boys are bigger in general than girls because he's already more than half her weight and she's 18 months old. He's been looking more and more chubby lately. I just am constantly noticing like how many rolls of fat his legs have. And if he wears one of those short sleeve onesies, his arms are just like so big and I absolutely love it. It just makes me so happy every time I see all these little cute rolls. Baby thighs are my favorite. Like they are just so cute with all the, the fat rolls and everything. It's just, oh, I'm loving it so much. I'm getting crazy baby fever for my own baby. I really want to get pregnant again. I have some really good news and that is that he is latching better again. Or at least I've just gotten used to it. But either way, I'm not sore anymore. It does look like his flange is better, but as long as I'm not sore and he's still gaining weight properly and we're not having any problems, then I'm I'm just so, so excited that that's resolved now. I did do some work for a while on just like pulling his lip out if it was sucked in and then also doing what's called the nipple flip. I think it's actually called the flipple or something. I'm not sure exactly, but I'll link some good articles about how to do that. But it's basically where you take the nipple and point towards the nose and when they open, you kind of flip it into their mouth so that they get like a lot more and that helped more than anything I would say. So it was easier for me to just break the latch and then redo it using that method than trying to like reach in and pull his lip out then it would like kind of pull out some of my breast and it just wasn't working as well so between doing both of those things we've got it figured out now so I'm really excited about that. He has been doing really well with sleep lately. At night he falls asleep anywhere from like 8.30 to 10. It, his bedtime really varies. Sometimes takes a long time for him to fall asleep and it also depends on when he had his last nap and so it's just anywhere between there. And then typically he sleeps all night up until like 4.30 or 5 is his average. Although these last four nights, not, not last night but the four nights before, he slept until somewhere between 6 and 6.30 in the morning, which is insane. It was so nice and he did it like for like four days in a row and I was like getting really spoiled. <laughs> because at that point, I would just get up with him. We're all in the same room and so when he would wake up at that time, it would wake up my daughter so we'd all just get up for the day. And it was just kind of nice that he gave me a full night of sleep and then when he needed to nurse, we just got up for the day. Last night, he went back to waking up at 4.30 and then he nursed again around 6.30 I think. But even 4.30 is fine with me. He does sleep a nice big chunk and I'm feeling pretty rested. I do have an insane amount of things to do during the day, so I'm still tired, but I'm so thankful that he sleeps so well. We've gotten into a really good routine lately. I have a bedtime routine video that's up on my channel. I think it was actually the last video that went up, but I'll link it down below for you guys. But I'm just not being as strict with routines this time around. Like, we just have a really good rhythm to our day. With my daughter, I was so obsessive over, okay, she's been awake for this long, so now she has to take a nap and I can't let her sleep longer than this amount of time. And if she sleeps for shorter, I have to try to get her go back to sleep and like all these things. And so with him, I've just been like, if he is looking like he's tired or hungry, we'll just do that thing. And he just rolls with <laughs> what our, how our day is going. Like, I'm not nearly as stressed out about it this time, and it's been really, really nice. I have to say, he sleeps through anything. It's insane. The other day, my husband was home. He had an extra day off of work, so he worked on our bedroom remodel. And I also had a lot of work to do on the blog, and my desk is set up kind of near the bedroom, so he was running all these power tools, like impact drivers and nail guns and the sawzall, and Demi was sleeping in the wrap on me and he slept through all of it. Like, didn't even phase him at all. He didn't even, he didn't even jump. Like, he just sleeps through anything. But then also he has had a lot of experience with it because my daughter tends to whine a lot during the day and that never wakes him up. Us all sleeping in the same room has been a newer development. So she's still getting used to it. And the other night she cried for several hours while we were trying to teach her that she just needs to sleep whether or not we're in the room with her. He slept through the entire thing. It was insane. I'm just always so impressed with what he can sleep through. I wish I had that ability. We went on a camping trip the other weekend, an overnight camping trip, and he did so well. He was just so chill during the day. He took all his naps on me as usual. I think just because we're so go with the flow, 
during the day anyway. He's just good at doing that no matter where we are. I'm just gonna lay him down right here. But he ended up sleeping with us the entire night on our camping trip and so I didn't sleep quite as well because we were in a different place and I was worried about having different sheets and stuff and just worried that he might get smothered but he did really good and everyone was safe and it was a lot of fun. So again, he still sleeps in the wrap for most of his naps during the day and that's just easy for me. He's way too young to sleep train right now anyway so I'm just going to avoid all the stress of trying to get him to sleep on his own and trying to like rock him to sleep and then carefully transfer him and stuff and like if I have to take a shower or deal with my daughter like if she really needs some snuggles and I want to do it while he naps I'll have him sleep on his own but in general he sleeps on me. His new favorite thing is being stood up on his feet upright and he's so strong he can support all of his weight you just gotta balance him and he gets so excited and happy when you do that. He smiles so big and he'll make eye contact with you and it, he just has so much fun with that. He has been smiling a lot more in general too. He gets so excited in the morning when I get him up or when he wakes up from his naps especially. And he's always looking at me, like he's looking at me right now, like waiting for me to make eye contact with him. And then when I do, he smiles so big. He just loves eye contact. The easiest way for me to get him to smile is when I say, buddy. He loves that for some reason. It's interesting and a parent will do almost any sort of ridiculous thing to get their kid to smile and I'm not embarrassed about it, but that will get him to smile. I'm sure it won't last very long because he tends to think something's funny for like a few days and then he changes his mind and something else is funny. So we'll see how long that one lasts. He has been trying to roll over lately. He tries to roll from his back to his stomach. So especially when I'm nursing him at night and we're doing sideline nursing, he tries to like smoosh his face into the bed and roll over to his stomach and he hasn't gotten it yet, but he's trying so hard. He also has been trying to sit up. When he's laying on his back, he like puts his hands back here and like strains his head up really hard and it's like trying so hard to sit up. And it's really funny to watch and I feel bad for him because he's trying so hard and he's straining so hard, but he can't do it. He's been chewing on his hands nonstop lately. Just, you usually have all four of his fingers in there just chewing on him. He's drooling a ton, like, soaking his clothes. I really need to get out some of his bibs and just have him wear some bibs instead of having his clothes soaked all the time. I think he might be starting to teeth. They can start teething really young and they can be teething for a long time before you even notice anything going on on their gums. So I feel like that's what's going on and what's causing the excess of drooling and chewing on the hands or at least part of it. He also foams at the mouth when he's hungry especially but it's just kind of a weird thing. Sophia never did that and I didn't know. Babies did that and he, he's been doing it for a while. I've just forgotten to mention it in his other updates but he'll just foam at the mouth and the first several times I thought he was dying or something but he's perfectly fine. He just has a lot of drool and he likes to turn it into foam I guess. But it's funny, his cousin who is just a day younger than him, it's so cute that they're so close in age, but his cousin does that too. They do so many similar things, it's just so cute. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I think he's just such a chill guy, he's just so sweet and just such a joy. I am just so blessed to be his mama. He's growing so fast and I love babies so much. But look at these chubby chubby legs, they're just so cute, I love them. So I hope you guys enjoyed his three month update. I will link the playlist with all my other baby update videos down below and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!